Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you an update on Capital One Counties. Um, we've seen an insane price run in the past three days. Uh, this shows the price run of the past week and uh, it actually is a little bit higher today but um, yeah it's kind of insane to see such a price run in such a short uh, period of time and it's kind of unexpected in the sense that it's an undervalued stock and um, yeah basically nothing changed in the underlying business so if we look here we could say that at the end of last week it was trading at or below 100 uh, right now it's trading at 145 which means that in the past three work days we have seen or trading days we have seen an increase of 45 percent which is kind of insane um I added to this position uh, around 105 GBX mark, so um, I'm pretty happy about the increase, of course. But I'm getting questions right now about whether or not this company is still undervalued and whatnot, or whether it's a good buy right now. So I want to dive a little bit into that. And for those of you who follow my channel, uh, this is not the only stock that has been going up significantly. Uh, we've seen John Menzies increase with about 35 to 40% and international consolidated airlines group which i made a video about uh or video on about uh, two three weeks ago with the 10 reasons why i invest in this company and i believe this company is up this week about 50 percent maybe even a little bit more so um yeah it's been a good week for me in that regard um and i expect to see declines in the near future because of that but i'll get to that in a bit but uh, in this video i want to focus on capital and counties in particular so let's start with that. I think the main question that people are asking right now, is it a good time to buy? Sentiment has changed. Um, we've seen a uh, an significant price increase. Uh, we've heard the news about the potential vaccine for the, how do you say that? The, 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 the perpetrator of the crisis, I would say. And, um, yeah, it's um, because of the change in sentiment and the possible outcome or a possible good outcome for many companies, we've seen a uh, very big increase. So then the question remains, is it a good time to buy? Um, in the last video of my three part series, which I will leave at the end of this video as well, I shared this state, this is, um, or this graph bar, I guess it's a bar. And um, yeah, I just mentioned the price range on what I think is the company to be considered very undervalued, undervalued, fair valued, overvalued, and very overvalued. And even though it has been increasing by about 45%, it is still right below the 150 mark. So in my opinion, this company is still very undervalued. That would also explain why this company has seen such a run-up in the past three days, because yeah, it's just worth way more. However... In the past week or since I made the videos, literally nothing has changed for this company. So the only reason why you're buying it at a 45% increase is because sentiment has changed. That is something to keep in mind. Sentiment is positive because of what we just talked about and that gives the price a premium. You might think, okay, is it really a premium if it's still undervalued? But from an underlying business perspective, nothing has changed. So positive sentiment makes you pay a premium and negative sentiment um, oh, gets you the price at a steeper discount, you might say. Um, I wouldn't say the company is uh, trading at a premium right now or whatnot, but I want to mention this to just have investors realize that what's the effect of sentiment because yeah this is just really just about perspective it's nothing about the business and while uh, the company is still undervalued so very undervalued so it's, it's, it's probably still a good buy the current sentiment is positive so we could expect that once the sentiment turns negative again that the company is going to go lower again so we could actually see a decline in the near future However, if the sentiment is going to be positive for, well, the rest of 2020, then it is unlikely that this uh, stock is going to drop anything lower. 
So again, to this sheet, um, the emphasis on this area when sentiment was negative, and we've seen this low price range for quite a while now, um, the acquisition from Shaftesbury, the equity increase from Shaftesbury, so the capital injection to stay afloat of the company they invested in, so they had to invest more money. Sure, that declines the price. Um, but overall, this business has been quite the same. And especially for a real estate business, it is quite easy to determine the underlying value. You could look back into the previous years and see what the valuation of the assets was beforehand or in previous years. And um, yeah, that makes it quite easy to see if a company is undervalued. Now, this company was significantly undervalued by, I'd say, compared to fair value, about 60 to 70 percent when I first started talking about it on this channel. And um, that is quite significant if you take into consideration that you normally pay a premium, so above fair value, for real estate. So even buying prime real estate or like London real estate at fair value could be considered a good buy because over the long run prices will increase. However, we notice here that negative sentiment, yeah, it, it gives you a decent buy. If it goes positively, then yeah, the, pr the price is going to be a little bit more expensive, but it doesn't mean that it's not a good buy anymore. Um, I do think that it is important to notice that if you know the value of the underlying business then you probably want to buy the business when the sentiment is negative and not when it's positive regardless of the valuation i think that's just a better buying opportunity if nothing in the underlying business is going to change so that is something to keep in mind that's basically something i would like to give all investors out there to keep in mind when you start investing if you are looking for undervalued assets you want to buy it when the sentiment is negative not when it is positive and this is obviously a mistake that i've made in the past as well like there was a time in may where it looked like the the crisis was going to blow over and um, this company in particular was trading at around 180 and 200 pence and i was like oh well i still had a discount i'm gonna buy it but the sentiment was uh, positive and yeah, it turned negative and it started declining even further. So even though it's going to feel uh, odd, to say the least, to buy when a sentiment is negative, I do think this is something that we would uh, or should try for when we are looking for undervalued companies. And the last thing to emphasize, in the past three weeks, I'd say, or since I made the, the series, Literally nothing has changed in the underlying business and we have seen incredible changes in what people are willing to pay for the company. So if you believe in uh, uh, the, the efficient market theory, the EMT, then I think here you have proof that, um, well, I wouldn't say proof because you might want to say, okay, but well, the risk was higher. But in my opinion, if you check the company if you read the financials and you check the underlying business then you actually know the risks and we've seen no changes in this in those risks uh, from a fundamental perspective in the past three weeks however we've seen a price increase of about 45 percent and that is only because of sentiment not because the risk is going to change they're still in lockdown over there um, they still there's still uncertainty of when they're going to open the only thing that has changed is sentiment and um, yeah as we are value investors or undervalued investors or value investors that are looking for undervalued assets, that's what probably should be called. Um, then this is just a perfect example of that you want to go against the tide. You want to invest when sentiment is not in your favor. It's negative. Nobody wants it. You're taking extra risk in, in other people's opinions. Your, your investment is uh, probably not liked by the majority of investors out there. And yeah it, it takes it's challenging in that regard but yeah if you're patient enough and i think in this case we didn't have to be patient for a very long time like if we're thinking about the crisis i think uh, the patience was less than a year uh, to see some recovery um then yeah you can be uh, pretty fortunate obviously it has still a long way to go to actually recover for real but um, yeah, the first signs are there uh, for now. And we see that, yeah, the moment sentiment turns positive, this 
stock will recover. Is it going to recover within two months? No. Is it going to stay at this level? I have no idea. In my opinion, it is more likely that it's going to decline a bit from this point on than to go higher. But in most of my calls in this regard, I've been wrong. I'm very bad at short term predictions. And um, so I just look at the assets. I think about what the company is worth and I buy it at a price where I think it is undervalued uh, and preferably significantly undervalued. And um, yeah, that's what's been working for me and everybody else should think about what works for them in their investment strategy. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you missed the real estate uh, videos about uh, Capital One Counties, I will leave a playlist here. You can click on the bottom left corner. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, see you guys tomorrow.